in a nice spot here by the Murray River, the longest river in Australia, uh, but not necessarily the most impressive at this point here in Swan Hill, um, or the cleanest and most drinkable. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's actually the border between Victoria and New South Wales. So where you can see over there on the other side, that's, um, that's uh, territory that I'm not allowed to go onto right now. Uh, there's a closure between Victoria and New South Wales at the moment and um, that bridge is the way through so yeah rivers are used for all sorts of different things but what we like to think of rivers as is those fast flowing uh, beautiful mountain streams the ones with the water which you can just drink it and it tastes so good and um, makes your stomach feel good uh, it doesn't make your stomach feel sick unlike these kinds of rivers and you know, in John chapter 7, uh, it's in verse 37, 38, Jesus talks about uh, how when we believe in him, out of, our, out of our bellies, out of our stomachs, will flow rivers of living water. It's, uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful image. It, it relates to the feast that Jesus was, um, was having during the time when he said this, the, the festival um, where there was rivers flowing. And... Um, it's the image of what Jesus wants to do through us as a church uh, when we have his spirit uh, in us. And when the spirit is flowing, uh, Jesus' power will flow through us and the things that he wants to achieve uh, in this world, he will achieve. So let's be, let's be full of the spirit. Let's be rivers that flow swiftly, that move, that do things. Uh, and don't become stale and slow and um, undrinkable. <laughs>